Bayheim Bowl 2.0 goes to Syracuse 63-55. The Orange beat the Big Red of Cornell inside the Carrier Dome. Let's continue the non-conference slate. That's Owen Valentine. That's Cameron McCauley. This is Noe Eagle. And it's a big J journalist matchup, right? You got the purple tie, Owen. You're oh, ready yeah. to go? It's going to be a big one. You know, you talk about the... Oh, wait, no, this is... Oh, Northeastern. Yes, right. Northeastern is who Syracuse is playing. Coming up in the Carrier Dome. Keys for Syracuse to continue this non-conference dominance and finish strong before ACC play. You know, my key to the game, it's got to be to start from the boil. Get to that boil right off the bat. They've started slow, and they're at a simmer. You know, the pot's on the stove, but nothing's really cooking. They've got to get off. They've got to get going a little bit faster because these starts of the game, they've been trailing a lot early. They've got to build themselves out of these ruts, and it's really hindered them come along in the late first half, early second half. So in order for them to get this win, they really have to start from the beginning and really just get hot and start rolling early. Yeah, you talk about you talk about boiling. They should boil some probably some tea because they need to stay awake in this game. This team, you, you watch them early against Ohio State. You watch them against Colgate. You watch them against Cornell. They just look asleep. They look like they're half playing. And, and when this team, we have seen it, when this team plays with focus and with energy, they can be a really good ball club. But North Northeastern is going to pounce on them if they come out sluggish again and they're just staying asleep. So Jim Beheim mentioned it. They got to be all in from the get-go. Two things that I have to respond to from that. First of all, both of you guys, sips tea if you're a Syracuse fan because a little shade on both of them. Also, tea, most hey of it non-caffeine. Hey man, non I, I am an anti-coffee guy. So as am I, as am I. There you go. Is Syracuse going to be filled on coffee or are they going to get this win? I think they will. I think the more important question in this game is do they cover 11-point spread? I'm going to say they don't, 69-59. to 59. Um, because in the end, this team has enough guys that can go off to carry them, even if they are kind of slow. You know, you talk about Tyus Battle, who had a ridiculous amount of shots against Cornell compared to the rest of the team. O'Shea Brissett had a good game. Elijah Hughes had his worst game, but he can go off for something. And Northeastern's an all right team, but they're not a great team, so they should be fine against them. I've got a similar win margin for Syracuse. I've got them winning 72 to 61. I think they're going to have that slow start. I don't think they're going to be able to get out right from the get-go and Northeastern's going to hang on late into that first half. They're going to start to pull away towards the end of the second or first half into the second half and get that 10-point lead but not as comfortable as you want this game to be. I mean Northeastern is not the worst team Syracuse is going to play but they're not a great team. So you want to get a little more comfortable of a win, a little bit more of a lead. You can try a couple more things, try and figure out the big man situation but I'm not sure they're going to quite going to be able to pull out to that big of a lead. All right, our analysts have Syracuse winning this game, getting to 6-2 and two on the season. That's all the time we have for this webisode of Q's Countdown. Make sure that you tune in to Q's Countdown and Citrus TV Sports. You can follow us at Citrus TV Sports on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. That's Owen Valentine. He's Cameron McCauley. I'm No Eagle saying so long. We'll see you next time.